Today I'm just giving you all a quick update about our pest control business, a lot of moving parts going on right now, and also my new favorite rat trap in the pest control industry. So, so before I get into the nitty gritty of the numbers of our move and while we're making our move and all that stuff, not just for my family, but for our pest control business, I wanted to give a shout out to, it's actually Catchmaster. And of course, you guys know if I'm ever sponsored by anything or have any affiliate links, any of that BS, I'll make sure to tell you guys up front, I'm not sponsored by Catchmaster. If they want to send some dough my way for this, by all means, I'll take it right. But uh, I started using this Catchmaster trap. I'll show you guys the box here that it comes in as well. It's the Catchmaster Quick Set Rat Trap Snap Pack. It comes in a box of 12. I believe the actual number or little code, because they always have a code for it, is the 621P. Um, so if you're looking at it on Viserys or wherever you all like to get your snap traps and chemical from, that's where you're going to be wanting to look. And this is a bad mofo, guys. So so it's very similar it's pretty much the same thing as you know the t-rex or jaws for those of you that use jaws these however i found are a lot more heavy duty the spring is a lot tighter than on the jaws and i'll try to remember to insert a picture somewhere in here for you guys of just one or two different rats that we caught one of them i literally caught today which is why i wanted to go ahead and shout them out in this video because i set the trap literally about three minutes apart from between when I set a trap and when I caught a rat. Um, doesn't happen very often, right? And literally with the jaws, my biggest thing that I didn't like about it was I was getting a lot of rats that weren't dying immediately. And I will say if you're dealing with larger rats, which I've caught, you know, uh, Norway rats that were upwards of like two to three pounds and you know it died it looked like within a couple seconds so you know sometimes you're still gonna have that with these guys but for perspective like I said I just posted the picture I'll post it again right here if I remember to just to show you guys you know it's an average size rat you know maybe what a pound at the most and this thing here as soon as it caught it I heard a little boom boom in the attic and then it was dead so there wasn't none of this, you know, boom, boom, boom. Like I heard with the jaws, I've, you know, had to chase my jaws traps around attics just to try to find them in a lot of cases. And you all let me know in the comments, you know, what what is your favorite rat trap? Do you prefer these Catchmaster ones? Do you prefer T-Rex? Do you prefer Jaws or are you old school and prefer the old school Victor snap trap? Let me know down in the comments what your favorite snap trap is. But these guys here, if I remember right, they're right around like $2, 2 to $3 per trap, which is very economical in my opinion. I know the Jaws rat traps are right around like a dollar eighty, I want to say, maybe $2 now with inflation and whatnot. But with these guys here you know you're gonna pay obviously a little bit more but not nearly as much as the t-rex i like this as a good middle option it works identical to the t-rex if anything in my opinion this is actually better than the t-rex so wanted to shout that out first and foremost down to the nitty gritty yes we are moving and yes i am getting another office for our pest control business. So it's not necessarily set in stone yet in terms of which office space I'm going to be getting. I think ironically enough, I'm probably gonna go back to the original complex that I was in when I was in the North Plano, Texas area. And that area, just to give you a little background, like context, I guess, for some of those of you that'll be newer to the channel, we had a second location that we opened for local SEO purposes for the Google Map Pack like we talk about a lot on this channel, the importance of the Google Map Pack. We opened up a second location in Plano, Texas at this same location we're looking at opening our office once again. And we had that office for a full year. We just had a one year lease on it. And by the time we were getting towards the end of that lease, we were starting to get a little bit of traction, some consistent leads. We had about 25 to 30 different reviews at the time, five star rating, all that good stuff. But the problem was, was we weren't just getting enough reviews because we were kind of splitting the reviews if that makes sense because we were still wanting to maintain our level of review velocity not just the review velocity but just our credit with google on our original page in raleigh texas then we were trying to obviously build up a reputation and get in good standing with Google to move up the list in this new location. So we had this dilemma where we were splitting reviews and it just took a lot 
to really get traction up there. You all that have been following the channel know for a while that I've been discussing moving out of our home because it was ridiculous to move to this home in the first place. We finally found ourselves a home in a town called Fake, Texas, which is about 20 miles east of where we're at currently. Not 20 miles, I guess 20 minutes with traffic and whatnot, only about five miles east. And I was telling my wife, you know, we're moving out to an area where there's not nearly the population where we are now. So what I'm going to end up doing is, is I'm going to kind of do a Uno reverse. I'm going to open a new location where we're actually going to be living. And if I can get a couple leads here and there, then awesome. If not, not a big deal. I'm not going to put a lot of time and effort into this location other than just doing the posts, doing the pictures, all that stuff, and maybe a review here and there. Nothing crazy, right? But then what I'm going to do is actually move our location that's in Roulette back to the office that we had in Plano. And like I said, it's not 100% set in stone yet that we're picking that exact office, but there's a very good chance that we will. And again, just to kind of reiterate for those of you, like I said, that are newer, or maybe you've been following for a while and it's just been a while since I mentioned that location specifically, that location has approximately two and a half to three X exposure in terms of the number of potential clients that we are going to be able to reach versus where we're at now in Rowlett. So if we just do some basic quick math, right, you double or triple the amount of homeowners that you're exposing yourself to. If we know for a fact that in the summertime we were getting anywhere between 25 to 50 leads per month organically, then one could probably assume that we're probably looking at somewhere between, what, 40 to 50 to upwards of even 60 to 75 leads per month during, again, the, the, we're talking the peak months. Now when it comes to the winter months and things of that nature, obviously that's going to decrease, but I assume that on the low end, we're probably going to get somewhere around 20 leads a month, you know, on the slower months, and then we'll probably exceed 60, 75, who knows, maybe even an occasional 100 plus month. It'll be very interesting to see kind of how everything unfolds because I think that will help us big time over the long haul. Like I said, we didn't really give that location a chance at the end of the day. If I did the smart thing from the start, which was what we're going to be doing now, which is take my established location that's been open for almost four years now and putting it in that location versus starting a whole new location with zero cred, anything whatsoever, I believe it would do much better. So like I said, definitely if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell icon. That way, that way you'll be notified every time we go live or upload another video because I'm going to keep you guys updated in terms of the whole local SEO game. I'll be doing some screen sharing on my local Falcon. If you don't know what local Falcon is, again, that's where you can literally just load up. You know, if you type in pest control near me, it'll show a whole bunch of dots on the map of if someone types in pest control near me at this location, this is where you pop up in the top three. If you type it in in this location, this is where you'll pop up in the top three. So it gives you a good idea of how well you are dominating the local SEO. And it's only like 25 or maybe 30 bucks a month. It's very, very affordable and a tool that's a must in my opinion. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys that quick update. You guys know I try to do these little videos periodically, you know, once a week, ideally along with our, you know, weekly live stream. So if you have any questions for the stream this upcoming week, don't hesitate to drop it down in the comments down below. And by the way, do not forget, let me know in the comments, what is your favorite snap trap? Do you like these Catchmaster ones? Do you prefer T-Rex? Do you prefer Jaws? Or are you old school, like breaking your finger a time or two and using the Victor Rat Traps? I've used them all. I think this one for, like I said, around $2.50 to $3 max per trap. I think it's a no-brainer, but let me know down in the comments. I'm always interested to hear from you guys. As always, if you have any questions or anything in general, be it for the stream or a video idea that you guys want me to do, as always, drop that down in the comments. Lastly, of course, if you're not in our Discord group chat or Facebook group, those are totally free to join. Links for everything is down in the description box down below. I appreciate you guys tuning in as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Go crush it this week.